Uh, good morning, guys. For today's topic, I will be revising sectioning. As I realize that quite a number of students are having some challenges as it relates to sectioning. Um, for you to fully understand sectioning, you will need to know these basic diagrams. And one, you will need to know the foot sectioning encompasses um, the footing details or everything below the ground level. It also encompasses the, the roof framework, the roof framework. And uh, the roof can cut either one of two ways, either on the X and the Y, Y plane, which is vertical like this, or on the X plane where it is sliced like this, horizontally. Um, this is a very typical roof. And uh, there are some components that you must know and you must, you must know, indefinitely, you must know these. All right, let's start with the footing. Um, everything below the floor level, so the, the, section, the sectional elevation is a combination of the footing detail along with um, the roof and the wall, yeah? Um, if the cutting plane is across here, is across the roof like this, this is basically what you would see. And um, the, 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 the angle, the angle here would be given in the specification. Yes. So this angle ranges from uh, probably 10, 15 degrees to up to 45 degrees. And here I have two different types of roof framework. Here I have something more like a truss and here I have some vertical studs, all right? We also have the eave detail, which you would also need to know, all right? Eave detail and um, the section through, section through a door, if a door is cut, and also a section through a window, if that is cut, and uh, a solid wall. For the eve detail, you would have had some information on that. This would require that you know or remember the eve details. As cutting through the roof, you would also need to be able to reproduce the eve detail. We have open eve and we have closed eve. For this section, we have the fascia board, we have the wall plate, the wall plate as seen here. We have um, the ply board or the timber framework and the rafters, all right? We also have the, the, the belting or the ring beam. Down here on the section which would come under the footing detail, let's go up to the footing detail. You would reproduce everything here, yes? It's important to know that for a past paper question, they will give you uh, all these information, yeah? All this information would be stated under the specification. So they will, would, would give you the depth of foundation, the, the, the type of footing, and the dimension for the footing. The, 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 the distance for the hardcore, the thickness for the slab, for the screed, and also for the wall. All right, so if you're not giving those, in most cases, we would use the standard, but for CXC, they normally provide you with these information, All right? So for you to be able to, to be able to do or correctly solve a section in problem, you must know these, these are given. You must know how the building look when it is cut across like this. And um, this is pretty much what you would see. You also need to know the different layers, how to incorporate the different layers in the drawings, all right? This view, this is when the building is cut horizontally and along the ridge board. So this is basically how it would look, all right? 
Um, again, we would pretty much have the same framework, the same um, EVE detail, same setting up. But what we have here would be wall, the wall plate would be the same. We would have the ridge board. The ridge board would be visible here. And um, our rafters, we would have our common rafters and our jack rafters. Remember, on the sectional view, on the sectional view, like this, it's important to note and to be aware of the thickness for the rafters, as the thickness for the rafters are relative to the cut. All right. If you were to cut the building across here, the rafters would be 50 millimeters. So these would be 50 millimeters wide and the place at the constant 600 millimeters on center. The wall, the, the wall plate would be 200 millimeters. Yeah, and here you would not see any thickness. The hip rafters would be, we will see the, the side of 150. Here, we will see the, lo the longer side of 150 millimeters. Here, this section here would represent the, the, um, the wall plate, no, sorry, the ridge board would be this section right here. So what we see on the ridge board would be the cross-sectional area while this would be the rafters, yeah. These would be the studs, the studs, and um, these the struts are the roof framework members on that side. So we must know those, and we, have, we, have, we you, you have to be able to combine all of those in order to be able to, to generate this. <clears throat> the next thing that you must be mindful of is the angle. Uh, it's important to know that on the elevation, the angle, the pitch is given, yeah? While on the plan, we normally draw the ridge board at either 45 degrees or we would bisect the angle given, all right? So let's get started. So we would need to determine which side, which side the, the floor plan is cut. All right, say we have a floor plan here, all right? And um, we rotate. All right, all right. All right, say we have this floor plan here. And um, if we were to cut this floor plan across here. So let's establish an imaginary cutting plane line for this. All right. Line. La well, let's, let's go to, let's change to my, um. All right, it doesn't really matter seriously which line I use. Um, all right, center line. Okay. <clears throat> so say for example, we wish to cut this drawing across here. I'll enter. My screen is damaged, guys. So I'm, I, I can tell you now, I will definitely not be able to see certain things where I should. So um, this would be my cutting plane line, all right? And I cut this building here. These are not very visible, so I need to increase the line type scale. So I type LTS, enter, and let this be about 20, two, zero, enter. Oh, that might be, yeah, 20 should be good. And you will realize that the spacing for those pretty much widen. No, we would have, for this, we would have, uh, an arrow, an arrow here, which should point in the direction that we should view. So for this, we, I realized that on the SPA, most of you did not add this. 
All right, so I must label this. So this would be X, X, X. So this is cutting plane X, X, all right? If this roof, if this roof is to, is to be cut along here and we were viewing in this direction, we would see everything on this side. We would see what's going on from this line, everything from this line all the way down, we would, we, we would see. So everything here could be or should be discarded. All right, so if we were to cut this here, um, let us sketch this before I get into the actual drawing. Uh, so what I would have here, here we will cut, we have one wall here. So we have that to represent that a wall right there. This represent my ground level. We would have a distance here of, I'm not quite sure what this distance is. And then we have a, an, another, another wall here. So we would have that there. We would then go across to this wall that we cut here again. So we go across to here, this side. All right. And here we have we have a wall here, but this wall, this wall is not cut. So for this, we would use a straight a line to represent this edge right here. So from here to here, we would have a line, a straight line vertically upward to represent that. We would also have a door here, a door here to represent that. So that would be our door. Now, if we were to go to the drawing, the thing about this, once I move this, this is going to go. So you would have to be aware of that. We cut through a door right here. So we would need to look for the door representation on that drawing, the door representation on that drawing for this. We also, we cut through a solid wall here. We cut through a window on this side, a window right here. So we would need a window representation for this side, all right? Um, there are other things that we would need to know, but for now, I will not be exponing any more on this we would simply apply these to the drawing. So we would go over to footing detail and we would establish our ground level. We would determine All right, so let me, all right, this is a little challenge to work with. All right, middle mouse grip and grab. So from the floor level, from the floor level down, we would incorporate everything here, everything here from the floor level down. We would also need to go to our sectional view and ask ourselves which angle, which one of these, question, which one of these would we use? Which one of those would we use? The vertical, sir. The vertical section. In, wait, is it XX or is it YY? We need to establish that. YY, sir. YY. YY. Why would you use YY? Yes? yes. Sir, because it cut, it cut through the horizontally. Be, it cuts because it cuts across, across the, the ridge, ridge board, the ridge across board, the sir. ridge board on, on yes, the shorter sir. side. Yeah. So here is the roof outline. Here we have the roof outline. Roof outline here. Can I see that? And this cuts across that, across the, the that. So we must use this one, this principle. All right. We must apply this principle. So um, we're gonna go, gonna, gonna go through, and for that we're gonna incorporate the, for, for the footing detail. We're gonna incorporate everything down here for the footing for these, and all of these different layers. We're also gonna incorporate the eave detail, beta open eave or a closed eave. Yeah. So all these specifications which you should know, we're gonna incorporate them. All right. 
we cut through a window, so we would incorporate this window representation for the window. All of this would be incorporated for the window. For the eve detail, we would utilize all of this. For the section through the door, we would incorporate all of this. If it's a solid wall, it will look something like this, all right? If it's an open area which has no door on it, we would use this one right here, all right? So you can see where it is critically important that you know all th three diagrams thoroughly, all right? And also know when to use them. Now, how do we get started actual drawing? I will be depending on you to help me with these as I, as I, I'm using picture and it's a little difficult to um, manipulate, all right? So, all right. I'm not quite sure if you guys know the measurements for these. Yeah. But you guys should because you have done this drawing before. All right. So, I think I have them here enough. All right. So, we're, we're going to start drawing. All right. So, the first thing to do is to analyze our, our distance. We need to know the distance between here to here and there. All right. So for this, um, I think, all right, let us start here. So I would need to have that there. So I'm gonna go to line. So for line, I'm gonna, well, I must, first thing I must change to my, um, to my construction layer. For that, I click here, then establish my construction, my um, construction layer. I want the black one. Black. So next, I'm going to engage line L, enter, and I'm going to draw my first line starting here. Then I'm going to go down. How tall should this line be? We know we're using standard measurement here. So we know that I would really appreciate if you guys talk to me here. 4,000, sir. 4,000 should be good, right? Lovely. Yes, 4,000, yes. 4,000, enter. Oh, enter. No, we're going to offset. O, enter. And for this, I'm going to use through. With through, I can question. Why, why did you use, why did you choose 4,000? Yeah? Why, why did you choose 4,000 and not 3,000 or something else? Quickly, quickly. Tell them why I chose 4,000. All right, all right. He doesn't want to talk right now. Okay, so we're going to specify the offset. No, sir, sorry, sir. Sorry, never realized the mic off. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. So the, the standard building um, uh, measurement, sir, for, for, for a whole, sir, is at least nine feet or 4,000 millimeters, sir. Nine feet, um, <laughs> nine feet, around, nine feet, it would be, would be um, 3,000, 2,700, yeah. And plus the depth of foundation, which is from 200 to 1200, so add both of them to, to get that pretty much. Yes, yes. Sir. good, very good. All right, so this now will be the first wall. And for this, I'm using through. With through, I'm able to draw all my walls at once. All right, so first I draw my first, my first line. I, I'm gonna, well, I could establish my, could establish my, um, my ground level same time, which would be good. So for that, I'm gonna draw a horizontal line, a next line, L, enter, line from here. And I'm gonna draw this, um, uh, uh, let it be that, enter, or line, L, enter, start there. Then I'm gonna draw this that distance, you can always. Next, I'm gonna, I'm gonna offset this to, to the, roof from the roof to finish floor so i'm going to offset this o enter t select this and how much should i make this talk to me guys you need to I talk think to it's me. 2800 2800 enter so this now becomes my my um finish floor level right my, no my um my this now becomes my um, this, well, well the, the, it's important to note, I need to point out something here that you guys must be aware of, all right? 
you must be aware that um look look at this the finished floor the floor level the floor the ground the ground level is below is below the, the um the base the screed and the the screed and the um finished floor so the ground level is always in line with the top of the hard core so for this i well you could offset you could even offset that you could offset that to the different to the different layers that you want same time yeah so we could um offset this by our space bar to read to uh space bar click and go down 25 25 enter which is the distance for the screed click and go 100 one, zero, zero, enter and um so here so probably i'm doing it probably i'm doing it the, more, the difficult way probably i am probably i'm doing this the difficult way probably i should do it an easier way probably i should so these two the floor level would be i think i'm doing it a more difficult way so the so so um the the, the, the trim tr enter enter so i would delete i would delete these so our our no our ground level would start here because remember above the ground level we have the slab and the screed so this is our slab which is what 100 yeah let me know if I, I think i'm teaching this a more difficult way but let us go on so this is my ground level all right i could have established a ground level first and then work from there which probably would be an easier way let me know if you understand this guys come on sir ah, okay good no the depth of foundation is determined from the floor level here so we can determine the depth of the foundation here by offsetting so space bar all right so offset o enter um, again i use true enter with true i can click then enter the distance how much you want depth of foundation to be guys talk to me what should this be give me a depth of uh, let it be one thousand I don't understand. How much? 1,200. 1,200. Yeah. yeah, anything between 200 to 1,200 is good. All right, so this is the depth of foundation. Now, we're going to start by drawing our wall. Yeah? So for that, I'm going to hit space bar, then click this. Then I'm going to, what should this distance be? Talk to me, guys. 150, sir. 150. Five, zero. Enter. Yeah, and I hit space bar one more time and I type in. No, I need to know the distance between between the, the wall, the first wall. Uh -huh. that distance to is, is in, in measurement is that distance is four. So let's, let's make it four thousand. So it's four zero zero enter. Four thousand. Yes, that is four thousand. I hit space bar. What should this distance be? One, five, zero, enter. Hit space bar, then type in my 4,700, enter. All right, so this is basically um, the, oh, I need the outline for the wall. Space bar two times, click this, and I type one, five, one, five, zero, enter. So now I have my wall. No, yeah? No, I can extend. I think I'm drawing this thing in a more difficult way, but it's okay. So we can we can extend these. Click here, extend E E. Enter. Oh, where is it? So E X T E. Extend enter. I want them to come out to here. So I click here, enter. Then I touch all of these and all of them will be extended to that. Escape. So now I have my um, depth of foundation. So now I have all the walls. Now, if we look here on the join, if you look, so we, 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 I just did this wall right here. I just draw this wall. Well, this wall should have been single. This wall should have been single. So this should be single. So I click here, click here to delete that. 
Why, why is this wall single, gentlemen? This is this wall right here. Why is this wall single? Because I did not cut it, all right? But I need to draw one more wall right here from the bathroom, yeah? And what would you make this distance to be? What, what distance could we use here for a bathroom? They did not give us. So what distance would you use? So, so at least 1,500 by 1,500, sir. By 2,500? By, uh, oh, no, the, sta the standard bathroom is, I would use 2,400 or 2,500. So offset or enter. Um, you have to use what, what they give you. If from, if from here to here is 4,000, oh. this is a little bit more than the half, so I'll make it like 2,400. So oh. you have to use that. So I would say offset O, and Offset distance, I'll choose 2,400, which is the standard dimension for a bathroom. And I'll click here, move in this direction. Um, click here, then I'll type escape. I would click space bar two times, click here. All right, offset, enter. Offset distance is 150, enter. Click this, that is 150. So now we have this wall, this wall, we have, the, we have this edge right here of this wall, and we also have this wall right here. Now, we can go ahead and, and establish the different layers for, well, we can do one of two things. We could look here for what we need, all right? We know that the one that we'll be using is, so we would need, what would we need to draw now, guys? What would we need to draw for this? What would we need, guys? To draw what, to draw what, sir? My, my laptop freezing up, not quite sure why. Uh, laptop freezing up. Oh, sorry guys, my laptop freezing up. All right, yeah, for this, we would know we would need to draw start to draw these members. We could um start with our, our ring beam, our ring beam, or ring beam, and that and that. Or what would be good? I think I have a draw. I think I drew a thing there, a overhang, a eve, a eve overhang. So I'm gonna well, let me just draw this thing and that. Show you how to use any 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 arm um, thing there. Right, sir, if you see if you see the different blocks, sir, for each of yeah. the parts, you can use them. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. So I I did make I did make a all right. Let no yes what? Let, let me go from scratch with this. Let me go from scratch with this. So offset. I want the overhang to be standard. So I'll say oh. Enter, four five zero. Enter, select object to offset this in this direction. Escape. No, I want, I want, um, I, we normally would have a ring beam right here, right? The ring beam is, what's the distance for the ring beam? So REC for the ring rectangle, enter. And I'll click well, here. Sir, 150 by 300. 50 tab 300, enter. 